Hi guys, the Metal Maniac back again, and uh, in this video, um, I'm going to be listing off my favorite song from each Judas Priest album. Uh, with that, let's begin. So, Rockerola. Not an album I like at all, but if I had to pick one song that's kind of tolerable, uh, probably the title track. Um, but yeah. Um, next up, Sad Wings of Destiny. Favorite song? The Ripper. Um, although I do like, you know, the Ripper Owens version a little better, but, you know, uh, I like the, I like the original as well. Um, let's see, next is, uh, um, uh, Sin After Sin. Favorite song from Sin After Sin is Starbreaker. It has a really great groove to it, um, and Rob Helford's vocals are are some of the best uh, in terms of the 80s, uh, not 80s, the uh, 70s stuff. Um, but yeah, Starbreaker's just a really great song with a great groove and just great vocal performance by Rob Halford. Um, Alright, next is... Uh, um, I gotta remember the order of these 70s ones. Um, I believe... Staying Class. Okay, yeah, Staying Class. Uh, favorite song? Uh, I guess Exciter. Um, but yeah. Alright, um, next up, um, yeah, what are the, I, I, I don't listen to a lot of the early stuff that much, so, uh, bear with me if I can't remember the exact order, order of some of these early albums. Um, what was it? Oh yeah, um, uh, Killing Machine. Uh, favorite song, um, Delivering the Goods, I guess. Um, uh, okay. Next up is, uh, I believe, this is 1980. Yeah. So, next up is, of course, Bridge of Steel. Favorite song? Mm, probably Breaking the Law. Uh, yeah, it's a typical thing to say that your favorite song from this album is Breaking Law, but it's a good song. Yeah, it kinda suffers from chorus repeats a bit, but the rest of the song kinda makes up for that. Uh, but yeah, favorite song from uh, Bridge Steel's Breaking the Law. Alright, next up is... Oh, where'd I put that album? Hold on. Nope, oh, that's not it. Nope. Nope. Here it is. All right. Sorry, I forgot where I where I had it. I uh, forgot where I put this. Um, favorite song from um is the right one. Oh yeah, this is Point of Entry. Never mind. Um, favorite song from Point of Entry is. Probably Solar Angels. Great song. Nothing much to say about it. Alright. Uh, next up is... Uh, Screaming for Vengeance. Favorite song? The Hellion slash Electric Eye. Fantastic, fantastic album, album opener. One of the best album openers. Uh, but yeah. Favorite song from uh, um, Screaming for Vengeance is uh, The Hellion slash, slash Electric Guy. Sorry, I, am, I don't know what's going on today. Anyway, I just, I'm kind of dehydrated. I don't know. There we go. Um, Alright. Uh, next up is... Uh, Defenders of the Faith. Uh, favorite song... I mean, it's, I thought this would be obvious, but, uh, The Sentinel. I've already spoken about how much I love this song. The Sentinel is just, uh, one of their best songs. It's, it's epic without being too over the top, if that makes any sense. Cause like, for something like, I don't know, uh, uh Iron Maiden's song, um, from their, uh, uh um, latest album, uh, the Book of Souls, the song, um, Emperor of the Clouds, they made it an epic song, but it failed because 
it just wasn't that good of a song. It was kind of boring and had this acoustic piano throughout the entirety of the thing. And it's just anyway. But yeah, um, back to um, the Sentinel. The Sentinel again is a great song. It's epic without being overblown, and it it, it has one of the best guitar solos in it. Um, just it's just everything about the song is fantastic. Um, and Rob Helford's vocals are as great as always. Um, but yeah, so, uh, The Sentinel is my favorite song from, uh, Defenders of the Faith. Um, next up... Turbo, a love it or hate it album. Uh, favorite song has to be the absolutely underrated masterpiece, Reckless. I love this song. Uh, very much a song I kind of understand why some people don't like it. It's a song that doesn't really fit the album. Uh, the rest of the songs on here are very, you know, cheesy, very, you know, commercial, and very, um, a, sort of, they're very a far removed from what most Judas Priest songs are like. But except Restless, sorry, not Restless, Reckless. Reckless is a song that does feel like a proper Judas Priest song, and maybe that's why people don't like it, because not necessarily because it actually feels like a Judas Priest song, but it's just a song that doesn't fit the rest of the album, doesn't fit the style or the flow of the album. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's a great song. Alright. Another love it or hate it album. Uh, write it down. Favorite song... Ugh, so many great songs on here, but I guess I'd have to go with the title track, Ram It Down. Uh, although, um, uh, Hard as Iron would be a close second. Uh, but yeah, the title track, one of the fastest Judas Priest songs ever. Maybe not, yeah, it's not the heaviest, but it is definitely one of the fastest. And I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised that none of their fingers fell off, um, K.K. Downing or Ben Tipton, because it's just such a super warp speed, fast sounding song that, especially with the guitars, um, it's just a song that is just, uh, uh, warp fast, but at the same time still is good, because there are times where songs are, can, they can make them super fast, but because they're super fast, sort of the, it gets a little bit sloppy, but that's not a problem with this song. Uh, it's a song that even though they're, it's a very fast song, they take, you know, they take great effort into keeping it a good song rather than having the instrumentation be sloppy because they're going too fast or anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, title track to uh, Ram It Down, awesome. Alright, next up, Painkiller. Favorite song, the title track. Painkiller. It's one of their best songs they've ever done. Uh, and the guitar solo in the middle is one of my favorite guitar solos of all time. Um, just a very, very, very good energetic metal anthem. Alright. Next album, Jugulator. Um... Favorite song, the title track, Jugulator. It's one of the best songs on the best Judas Priest album. Uh, probably, they're one of only two absolutely heavy and sinister sounding songs. The other one being Abductors, which is on the same album. Uh, but yeah, I just love the build up the, uh, uh, before it gets to the main song. Sort of like, first it starts with the, um, uh, how do I describe it again? Oh, it starts off with this sort of weird ambiance, sort of metallic noise thingy. Um, I described it uh, at one point as it sounds like a distorted. It sounds like trains coming into a train station, but the sounds all distorted and warped. Uh, but then it goes into the uh, very slow uh, um, kind of guitar riff. But then it gets. A little bit faster and a little bit faster, and then the uh, another riff comes up top of it, and it's just this really awesome sinister chugging riff. And then the song starts. It's, it's just a fantastic song, and I absolutely love the title track, Jugulator. It's amazing. Um. All right. After that, um, give me a second. There we go. Uh, favorite song from Demolition. 
Um, Hell is Home. Hell is Home is one of those songs that not a lot of people like, because it, not a lot of people like this album, which, yeah, a lot of this album sucks, but, like, that one song, Hell is Home, a fantastic song, and, um, one of the most different sounding songs of the Ripper Owen stuff, um, because... For most of the songs, especially on Jugulator, they're very, very heavy, very in almost industrial sounding, very uh, uh, groove oriented. And with uh, um, Hell is Home, it kind of has that groove oriented feel, but at the same time, not as much. It's sort of, I don't know, I, I don't want to call it melodic, but it does have a little bit more... Um, a little bit more melody, I guess, and I love that acoustic uh, guitar opening in the beginning. Um, and then it, it kind of is a mix of, it kind of feels a little bit melodic, but also has a little bit of that groove orientation in it. Um, but yeah, Hell is Home, a fantastic song. Alright, uh, next album is Angel of Retribution. Favorite song, Loch Ness. I know, this, whole, this is a song that not a lot of people like. Um, they complain it's too long, but, you know, for me, it's not actually that long. I mean, considering the atrocious album that came after this, Nostradamus, like, a three-hour album, like, with very un unrealistically long songs. Like, well, I say unrealistically because no, because realistically, no one is ever going to sit through a three-hour album. Um, but, yeah, just... Uh, um, so I don't understand why people... Uh, if they've heard um, the, the stuff that's on... Uh, the songs that are on... Um, uh, um, I'm having a mind blank for a second here. Anyway, uh, I, for, for the people who uh, uh, have listened to the stuff that's on... Um, why am I forgetting this right now? I'm... Um, oh yeah, um, Nostradamus. I don't know, I, I kind of forgot the name of that album for a second there, I don't know why. Anyway, for the people that have listened to Nostradamus and have um, experienced the horrendous long, long, long songs on those albums, I don't know how they could even compare something like Loch Ness to that, because it is a longer song, but it's not a very, it's not a very, very long, long song, if that makes any sense. It's a, yes, it is t maybe a bit longer than most just pre songs, but it's not extremely drawn out like something that would be on Nostradamus. Um, anyway, but yeah, I absolutely love Loch Ness. Fantastic song. All right. Um, next up is Nostradamus, if I can find the album, it's probably in my shelf here. Hold on, give me a second. Oh. Alright. Well, anyway, I can't find it right now. But anyway, Nostradamus, fav favorite song? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't really listened to that album in a long time. Hell, I can't even find it, so that just proves I for even forgot where I put it. But uh, I would say hmm, favorite song from Nostradamus, I guess, would be the prophecy or something. I don't know. It's it's an album I very rarely very rarely listen to, so I I don't know. Um anyway, uh moving on to um Redeemer of Souls. Favorite song from Redeemer of Souls, probably March of the Damned. Um pretty much the only good song off that album. Um anyway, now moving on to there it is. Um, now moving on to Firepower. Favorite song? Um, uh, probably Traitor's Gate, I guess. I don't know, my favorite song switches from time to time, uh, in terms of, uh, favorite song on this album. But at the moment, I, I guess, um, Traitor's Gate is my favorite song. Um, but yeah.
Um, so that's about it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.